Hi, my name is Mike Keenan. Just another quick video. I came across a, um, a post that was made on Reddit from a conspiracy forum, forum over at uh, Reddit yesterday. And I'm just going to share that with you. That I didn't write this. This is written by another person. But I just want to share the, uh, the information that, that they shared. Um, also, the link to the, uh, the video that they're uh, speaking about in the um, description box below. And you can watch that for yourself. Um, just remember, when you, when you watch the video, if you happen to watch the video, if you just listen to the way that these people speak, it's um, different, and uh, you'll find out the reason why. But anyway, let's begin. So I'm just going to start reading this. The title of the uh, the post that was made was called Lucis Trust, the Religion of the New World Order, is building a social media army to prepare the hearts and minds of the world for the coming new age. Lucis Trust is the official spiritual guide of the United Nations. They work in conjunction with global powers like the World Economic Forum to bring about the New World Order. The New World Order is fundamentally global communism. The goal of communism is to remove all distinction between yourself and others, to understand that we are all one. Therefore, all resources must be globally and equitably shared. By redistributing wealth and resources away from yourself to others is an incorrect understanding because we're all one. It is it is as if you are merely redistributing energy from your arm to your leg or from the heart to your lung. It's all you. Individual property is eliminated because there is no individual. This is because this is tr the true communist man, a man who sees nobody as other. There is no you and there is no me. We are literally one being. There is only us. Throughout history, communism has seen religion as an enemy because for communism to succeed, all its people must be on board and worship the state and obey. If it doesn't work, the blame is placed on non-believers in the state. Worshipping anything else divides allegiance. You, me, and everyone else must put nothing above the communist state. Lucis Trust has been created to bridge that gap between religion and the state. It promotes these fundamentally communist beliefs about humanity. We are one soul. We're all divine sparks of the light of Lucifer. The beliefs of Lucis Trust are designed to be that religion that falls in line with going along with whatever the communist state wants. Believers will submit to global communism because it is natural to their spiritual beliefs. Upon going down the Lucis Trust rabbit hole, you'll find a link on their website to another site of theirs dedicated to their 2025 initiative. On that page, you'll find a link to their 2025 initiative YouTube channel. Here they have several videos of basically Zoom meetings where they discuss what they've been up to to prepare for 2025. 2025 is a big year as it marks the end of the 100-year stage of the forerunner. Preparing the way means preparing the way for the reappearance of the Christ. And I'll just interject there. Obviously, in this is the Antichrist they're speaking about. And I'll just continue. As John the Baptist was the forerunner for Jesus, Lucius Trust has been enacting the plan over the last hundred years as the forerunner for the Christ. In this video, these groups assemble and basically discuss how they have created these websites to prepare the world for the coming new world order. They create a meme vault of 4,000 memes that promote their ideas for the purpose of preparing people's hearts and minds. Their disciples will go here to these memes on social media. They have downloadable pamphlets ready to go to share and hand out to people. The stage of the forerunner is the period between 1925 and 2025. It is a preparatory period. The preparations will be complete next year. And I suspected for a while when their conclave assembles in 2025 to mark the end of the period, this will begin a period of active evangelization evangelization of Lucis Trust to the masses. These websites have been created to prepare, prepare for this. They're all mentioned in the video. It is a long one, but it is fairly eye-opening. Just as an FYI, Alice Bailey wrote the main teachings of Lucis Trust. She claimed to be channeling a man they call the Tibetan, who was writing through her. They refer to the Tibetan as DK. So when they're referring to DK, they're referring to the things Alice Bailey wrote. The words of DK are all contained in various books Alice, Alice Bailey wrote. All the stuff on these sites is what you can expect to be to be spread on social media during the next major crisis, crises that will appear, well, I should say, that will happen in the near future. The polar crisis, as we're told by Klaus Schwab, they use global crisis or crises as their agent of change to shape the world as they see fit. They see crisis and opportunity as synonyms. 
And um, as I said previously, the uh, the video this person has is talking about will be in the uh, link to the description box below. Um, oh, look, I'm just going to state this for myself. These, these people in the malicious trust have uh, no power of their own. They're just um, minions of Satan. And, and, and sadly, that's the, uh, the truth. Um, they have no power of their own. You know, almighty God is in complete and absolute control. These people are just pawns in the game. And if you listen, as I said previously as well, if you listen to the way these speak, people talk, they speak in a, uh, a different language, a really strange language. And, and, and just listen to the way they talk because you have to pick it up, pick up and uh, listen for it out in, in the uh, so-called real world so that you'll know, uh, you know the spirit behind these people. These are dangerous times. Anyway, that's all I'm going to say for now. God bless you all. Bye for now.